Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke, otherwise known as Cool Hand Wiz, and today we are playing a game called Fallout Shelter. It's an app game that's definitely available for the Android. I don't know if it's available for available for the iPhone. Uh, it is actually a game that I saw another YouTuber. Um, her name is Uru Kate. Uh, she actually, I hope I said your name right. I have had trouble in the past saying it. Um, and Kate actually played it on her channel, and I had never heard of it, but I really love the Fallout franchise and basically in the game or uh, in the app you are running a vault uh, and you start off with a small population and then you're you're in charge uh, or in charge with growing that vault population until they are kind of self-sufficient almost in a way uh, and then there's like all these kind of random like encounters with like raiders or bug infestations or uh, let's see, fires, and like I think there's eventually other stuff too. Those are the only three incidents that I've run into so far. And uh, I, this is actually a really hard game, so I wouldn't suggest... It's like a game that probably has a steep learning curve. I think there's definitely a way that you can do well in this game if you know how to play. I This is now my third game that I've played on this app, and the last two I died, um, or my vault kind of collapsed after the first like 24 hours which is so sad uh this is actually my farthest by far and i'm hoping to keep it as going as long as possible i was really worried because these are the different bars that gauge um how much resources you have and each of these rooms give you different resources there's a countdown for each room and that counter count counter is measured by how many um, people are in the room actually working on producing that resource and how high their skills are in the skills that are most relevant for that room so like this is the food room or the kitchen restaurant and they produce food of course then this one is for power this one is for water I have another one up here for water just so that I can produce more water faster and then this is uh, for med stim packs uh and which are heal the vault members this is a radio station which i just got and then there's some various other rooms as well that i haven't unlocked uh and so far it's going pretty well i'm actually really surprised um we you get evaluated every 24 hours and then depending on your score you get like a bonus amount of like coins or currency that you can spend in the game and we got a 94, or I got a 94 on the last one, so I was pretty happy about that. But, like I said, like this, how can a fire happen in, uh, in a bedroom when there's nothing else going on in there? This is actually the baby daddy of the, <laughs> of the vault. He's, um, he's had relationships with, I think, every single women, uh, woman that's, um, in the vault right now, and is the main reason is because I've been trying to use because he's really really his really high skills like if you see these are his skill points and they're really really ridiculous to be honest and so I've been trying to pair him up with the other the females of the vault so that they will reproduce people with higher skills I've heard that's a thing I don't know if that's actually true uh, a lot of it's I'm kind of learning on my own as you can see by the fact that this is now my third world but they give you kind of set kind of flexibility and everything like that it's kind of reached this point where i've the only way i'm really growing my population though is getting the women to have children and then um the children growing up i think i have there must have been some of them that have grown up already because i'm pretty sure i had four four or five pregnant women <laughs> in this vault and they were all from this guy up here uh, normally I have this guy, he can also, they have opportunities to go and explore the wasteland and get resources like weapons and armor and currency to help defend and continue to build up on inside the vault, which is kind of nice. But he's the one who has the highest stats by far, so normally I use him to go about trying to find resources. And I'm just trying to see if there's any women that <laughs> haven't been... been in Impregnated by this person doesn't seem to like him, so I'm not gonna try again. Uh, yeah, and I think that's that's a girl. I feel so weird doing this. This is like doing the Sims. 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, um, I also wanted to let you guys know that there's a very special video that's coming out on Monday. So you can get excited for that. Uh, there, it's not going to be a gaming video. It's just going to be a little bit of, of an update video. And I mentioned on Twitter that I was going to be announced. Or there's some really exciting videos or game ideas that I have on coming up on the way. And Monday is the day that I'm going to announce what I've been planning and working on for a while now. So uh, be sure to stay tuned to that. Also, if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and spread the word. I really do appreciate it. And we also just reached 2,500 subscribers. Um, we're actually on our way to 2,600 now. I mean, it's pretty crazy. We're still growing really consistently. I want to thank you guys for all the support you guys gave. The YouTuber shoutouts last week. I really do appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, I might be live streaming this coming weekend. I'm not entirely sure because normally we don't have the YouTuber shoutouts every week. We normally skip every other week now. So just so that people can get a, get a chance to actually check out the people I gave shoutouts to and hopefully um, support them as well or at least consider supporting them. Uh, I know there are people on Twitter that have showed me their pictures of what their uh, their vault looks like, um, like, I can show you right now, um, the Henzo, um, he showed me his, and his is ridiculous, uh, I don't play this on my phone, though, so it, it takes a little bit of time, because I just normally play it on the computer and just, like, check on it once in a while, so it probably limits how fast I can grow this, but I normally keep it up in the background, and it's kind of, it's one of those addicting games where you constantly are checking back on it and everything like that. Like, I'm still playing uh, the Simpsons game, which is a lot like this, where you have to build stuff and then wait and get characters to do miscellaneous projects to get currency for other projects and so on. It's very similar to that. And actually, what I'm going to probably do is we can't... Oh, we can. Okay. So I'm going to upgrade the restaurant, and I'll show you what that looks like. And every time you in upgrade a room, you get um, bonus um, production points. So every single time they complete a round of the production, you get some extra um, resources, which is really nice. And then you can also increase the storage capacity. Uh, normally, actually lately, I haven't had my bars up here where it says have the counter for how many resources you have. I haven't gotten it to full yet. Uh, in like the last couple hours or so, uh, so I don't know exactly if it'll ever get back up there. I don't know if I should build another food room or something like that. We don't really have the people right now to build more rooms, and I'm kind of worried that we might need to do something in terms of getting extra generators built first, just because uh, it's really, the more rooms you build, the more energy you use up, so the electricity bar goes down faster. So that's something you have to keep in mind. But anyways, we'll upgrade this so you guys can see. And basically, it just makes the room bigger and everything so that they can produce more units of the resource, which is kind of nice. And since we don't actually have the extra people to actually do that, I'm going to just upgrade the current rooms we have until the children that we have running around and the women that are pregnant, there's like four or five of them right now, uh, have the, the children have grown up far enough where they can start working on their own too. Anyways, yeah, and so, like, this game is kind of something that you can play when you have some downtime. Uh, that's what I use it for, anyway. Uh, and it's kind of an addicting game, especially if you like the Fallout series. I recommend it. It's just, you gotta learn how to actually play it before you can really enjoy it, I guess you can say. Because I was really frustrated, because last time, uh, my last save, everybody died, like, within, like, the spot, like the span of an hour or so. And it's very easy to, like... Every, for everything to go sour. So far it's going so good and I hope it keeps that way. I'm gonna probably give you some updates maybe once in a while on Twitter or something like that if you guys wanna see that. Uh, if you guys ever have any suggestions in terms of app games you wanna see on the channel next, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for suggestions. Uh, be sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. Welcome to the channel. We are actually hopefully on our way to 2600 subscribers. Uh, and I also wanna remind you about the video that's coming out on Monday. It's it's very exciting. I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you. So stay tuned to that. And apart from that, I will check with you guys later. Adios.